Hey guys, like Channel 62, and today I'm making videos for you guys the Lego the Marvel Superheroes Avengers Infinity War sets. These finally been revealed. I'm so excited to show you like these sets. I think they're so amazing. Um, but yeah, so I actually I don't think we actually made a video for quite a while now. I think it's been like one or two weeks. So sorry about that, but. We're gonna try to get back on track. We've got some set reviews planned, maybe even some custom characters, and some other stuff in like Marvel Studios too. But for now, I'm gonna show you the Avengers Infinity War sets. So first up, we have set number seven six one zero one, the Outrider Dropship Attack. Sadly, it doesn't say on the box right here that's shown the the set pieces, but I think this looks like an amazing set. I think this set turned out really well. You can see it's got four characters, two Outriders, and the other two are Black Widow and Captain America, and I think these look awesome. Now we can take a look at the back of the box, and I think this looks pretty cool. Of course, you've got the drop, the drop ship for the Outriders, and I think that looks so awesome. It's got some pretty cool parts to it. It's got those two, uh, the front windows and back windows, I guess. Because it doesn't really have a specific front or back, but they can both fold down, plus the two sides. It's even got studios at the front, which looks awesome. It's got two Outriders, which can fit in it. And I love the prints on the Outriders. I think they look amazing. And of course, we've also got uh, Black Widow, who looks awesome. You've got the sticks, and an awesome new body print. And I kind of like how in the Marvel Cinematic Universe, they kind of changed up Black Widow's look. I think they changed up everybody's look. And I think that's pretty cool. But at the same time, I know a lot of people, and that includes me, would like the classic. But these characters do look pretty cool. And we've got Captain America with his awesome new face print. He, he's got his um, dark blue suit, kind of like he did in Civil War. And he's even got his shield, like the mini shields from Wakanda and Tech. I, and I think that is so cool. And you can see in this set, this comes with one of the six Infinity Stones. And there's actually six sets, and each of them come with one Infinity Stone. I think that's pretty smart. Uh, this one comes with, I think it's the Space Stone. Not 100% sure, but that's what I think that one is. Um, and I just think this set looks really awesome, so let's just move on to the next set. Next up, we have Thor's Weapon Quest. I think this looks like an awesome looking set. It's got some pretty cool features in it. Comes with three minifigures, which include Rocket Raccoon, Thor, and of course Groot. I think the set looks so awesome. Set number 76102. And it just looks amazing. It's got the drop ship, it's got uh, the weapon, Thor's electricity power ups. It's even got, I think it's kind of like um, some sort of thing to charge up his electricity. Maybe like he puts his electricity in there and kind of charges up and spits it out or something. Um, but it looks like it's powered by the Infinity Stone at the back, so that's pretty cool. Um, but we'll get into further detail at the back of the box. So now we can take a look at the back of the box. I think it looks pretty cool. So you can see you've got Thor, Groot, and Rock Raccoon as the minifigures and the build look pretty awesome. We'll get into further detail about them later. You know, their play features. Uh, I think Thor looks pretty awesome. He's got that awesome body print. I really like how they made the new weapon and the power blast piece looks pretty cool. And if you can see on the front of the box, he's got that those electrifying eyes. And I think that's pretty awesome. And of course, there's Rock Raccoon. Same one from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2. Uh, but we've also got Groot, which is a completely new minifigure. It's Teenage Groot. I actually think I would have preferred if maybe he had long arms and legs, kind of like Woody from Toy Story. But I think that looks okay. I like how he's got that uh, root kind of sticking out of his hands. So I think it's pretty cool. There's two awesome builds, the dropship and it looks like the electric cannon. The electric cannon looks pretty cool. It's got those new power blast pieces, which looks awesome. And it even has a space in the back for the infinity stone. So I think that's pretty cool. And we've got the dropship, which looks awesome. It's got a really nice design to it. It has the kind of turquoise color on it. It's got a place for Rocket Raccoon to sit. And the um, window could close after that. So that's pretty cool. And it even has two stud shooters. So I really like that. And the Infinity Stone that comes in this set is actually the Power Stone. So, yeah, I think it's going to wrap it up for this set. Next up, we have Corvus Glaive Thresher Attack. Set number 76103. I think this set looks pretty awesome, of course. It comes with five characters. The Vision, Black Panther, I think Shuri, an Outrider, 
and one of the members of the Black Order. I'm not exactly sure um, the name of the member of the Black Order, but I just think this set looks pretty awesome. Of course, it's got some pretty cool play features, and it's got like a nice building design, and I just think this looks pretty cool. So, of course, when we look at the back of the box, I'll get into further detail about this set. So now looking at the back of the box, we can see a closer look at the build, especially the back of it, and we can also look at the play features. So you can see this set comes with Black Panther, the Vision, and Outrider, Shuri, and also one of the members of the Black Order. So the member of the Black Order, I think he looks pretty cool. We saw him in the trailer, he was prying out the Mind Stone from Vision. So that's pretty cool, we get him in this set. And we also get Black Panther, which is pretty awesome. But I'm pretty sure this is the same one as one of the Black Panther movie sets, so that's kind of unfortunate that we don't get a new version. But the Outrider is pretty cool. And it's actually pretty cool that almost any one of these sets you get, you could actually get an Outrider, so I kind of like that. Shuri looks pretty cool. I think the hair piece was the same one used as Paddy Tolan on the Ghostbusters Actor 1 and Actor 2. Uh, but looking at the main build itself, we can see the Thresher itself has an awesome uh, play feature. If you press down on the red button, it shoots the saw forward, and that is so awesome in my opinion. And then the main build has two cannons at the top, which I'm pretty sure rotate 360 degrees, and has two such shooters on each, so that's pretty cool. It's got some computer screens, has a bed, it has a chair with some computer screens in front of that. And that's pretty awesome. There's another play feature where you, you push something down, that door will open. So I think that's pretty cool. And overall, a pretty cool set. And the Infinity Stone that comes in this set is the Mind Stone. Pretty fitting because the Mind Stone is in Vision's head. And next up, we've got the Hulkbuster Smash Up. This is set number 76104. And I think this set looks pretty awesome. This set comes with the Hulkbuster and a nice cannon build. And it comes with four characters. The first is an Outrider, then there's another member of the Black Order, the Falcon, and then Bruce Banner. So, I think this is a pretty awesome looking set. It's got some pretty nice builds. So, without further ado, let's get into the review of the set. So, at the back of the box, you can see um, some pretty cool play features of it. And I, I'll show you the characters. So, one of them is a member of the Black Order. It looks pretty cool. I love the blue hair that she has, and then has a black face with a uh, white body and arms, it's pretty cool, it's got an awesome weapon, and we could look over at the uh, falcon, who looks pretty cool, he's got that wing pack, he's even got that little falcon on the back, which is pretty cool, and he's got an overall nice design to him, we've got Bruce Banner, who looks pretty cool, and then an Outrider, which is the same as the other sets, so looking at the main build, which is the Hulkbuster, I think it looks pretty awesome. I love how the arms look. It looks kind of bulky. It has those um, gold parts. It has those awesome shoulder pads and the hands too. It's definitely different from the one that came with Captain America Civil War, which I really like. It looks like it's got an awesome interior, as you can see Bruce Banner jumping out of it. It's got an awesome leg design and some weird uh, feet design, but overall, I think it looks pretty awesome. And then you can even see there's a cannon that the Outright, it could sit in, which is pretty awesome. And inside, it could hold the Infinity Stone that comes in this set. And the one that comes in this set is Soul Stone, which is pretty cool because it's the only one we haven't been revealed to the location of in the MCU. So hopefully, we get to see it in Avengers Infinity War. And I think overall, it's definitely a really cool and awesome looking set. Next up, we have Thanos Ultimate Battle, set number 76107. I think this is like a pretty awesome looking set. I love the overall design. Of course, it's got the Milano, which looks pretty cool, and I don't really like how it's orange, but maybe since it's accurate to the movie, I guess that's kind of cool. Um, but I do like how it has kind of stud shooters on the top. Uh, it's similar to the one, I forget, I forget if it's the first one or the one from Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 2, but I know it's pretty similar, um, but it has an overall really nice design to it, and I think it looks really cool. This one includes... I think four characters, one of them being the Thanos Big Fig. And overall, I think it's a pretty cool set, so we'll get into the details when we look at the back of the box. So you can see on the back of the box, it shows some pretty nice features. I really, really like this set. I think it looks really awesome. So you can see the four minifigures it comes with is Thanos, Star-Lord, Gamora, and Iron Man Mark 50. 
Iron Man Mark 50 looks so awesome. I love the kind of jetpack thing he has. I think that's really cool. It's really awesomely built. And you can even see at the bottom there, he comes with the power blast, which is, I think is awesome. And then we've got Gamora, which I'm pretty sure is a new print, so I think that's pretty awesome. Star-Lord, he's the same print as from the early Guardians Volume 2, so I'm pretty sure it is, so that's not too exciting. And then we got Thanos, who looks pretty awesome. I don't like that they use the same mold as the other Thanos that they created, but I just think it looks pretty cool. And then, of course, he has the Infinity Gauntlet. I think that is so awesome. You could even add all the Infinity Stones to it, and that's a really cool addition. I think that's pretty awesome. The only thing I don't like about this figure is that since they used the old Thanos mold, they had to give him a helmet, and in the movie, as you can see on the front of the box, he doesn't have a helmet. But besides that, I think he looks really, really cool. So, looking at the play figures at the bottom, you can see at the top there, it actually shows that you can uh, use a drop ship from Thor's Weapon Quest, and you can actually place it in the back of the Milano. I think that's so awesome. And you can see that you could even open the cockpit part, put characters inside, but not only that, but you could open the other part to slide out a place where um, Thor's and Gamora sit, which is pretty cool. And of course, you've got stud shooters on the Milano. And I think that's a pretty awesome feature. We're not done yet. There's one more set to review. Next up, we have the Sanctum Sanctorum Showdown. I think this set looks pretty awesome. This is going to be the last set for the Avengers Infinity War line of sets. And of course, this is actually going to include six sets so that each of them can include an Infinity Stone. I think it's a pretty smart idea. So, of course, the set comes with five characters. Um, I think two of them are members of a Black Order. And I think that big fig piece is really awesome. I love that new mold. We've got Spider Man in his Iron Spider suit. We've got Doctor Strange holding the Infinity Stone that comes in the set. And we've got Iron Man. It looks like he's in his Mark 50 suit, but he doesn't have that big jetpack thing at the back. So I'm not sure. But I think this set looks really, really cool. It's got some awesome play features, and we'll get into the detail at the back of the box. So now on the back of the box, you can see all the play features and everything. So first, let's take a look at the characters. The set comes with five characters. Two of them are members of the Black Order, and the three of them are the superheroes. So we've got uh, the big fig, who looks really awesome. I love his body mold, and the arms have the armor on the side, which looks really cool. And then we've also got the other one, who has some pretty nice uh, prints on him. Then we have Spider-Man in his Iron Spider suit, which looks so awesome. I'm so glad we got a minifigure of this. He even has the same back piece as the Outbiter, so that's pretty cool. We got Doctor Strange there. He's, I think he has the same costume he does in the Signal Sanctorum set, except this time he has a new hair piece, so that's pretty cool. And then, of course, we get Iron Man Mark 50, except without the jetpack or anything like that. Uh, so, taking a look at the build, I think this looks really awesome. It's got Spider-Man's apartment, Sanctum Sanctorum, the pizza shop, and then the apartment uh, entrance. So, the, uh, Peter Parker's apartment looks pretty cool. The only problem is it looks very crammed, but I guess it's what they had to do. Um, it's make this set a reasonable size. But I really like the bed, the computer, and the boxes there. I think it looks really cool, definitely brings it together. And there's even a play feature. If you push down that web, it actually shoots out the window, so that's pretty cool. And then looking at the Sagan Plank Torum, it looks awesome. It's got the portal to all realities there. I'm pretty sure that's what it is. There's a desk at the front. And we've got Dr. Strang in the library. There's actually another play feature where if you turn that knob, it actually knocks out another window. With a lot of windows being knocked, knocked out in this set. And then you can see in the pizza place, there's yet another play feature to knock out a window. I'm not sure why there's so much windows getting knocked out. You can see Iron Man Mark 50 with the pizza in there. And then, pretty simplistic part on the bottom floor of the same thing to our side. It's basically just the apartment entrance, but it's got a nice little couch, so that's pretty cool. And overall, I think this set turned out really well. The Infinity Stone that comes in this set is the Time Stone, which is the one that's in the Eye of Akimoto in Dr. Strangus Necklace. So, I think it's going to wrap up this set in the line of sets, which wraps up this video. So, I hope you guys liked it. If you don't, hit subscribe and comment. Definitely let me know what you think about this in the comment section down below. I don't really like this, I think it's definitely an awesome set, and this whole line of sets was really cool. I'm excited to get them, and of course you guys can tell me what you think about the comment section down below. So I think that'll be it, so see you guys later on the Channel 62.